Welcome to another video. For today's video, let us answer the set of questions of the difficult round in the Metrobank MTAP Math Challenge 2019 Division Oral for Grade 8 and I hope this video will help you a lot in your training. On number 1, a number X is 15% more than Y and a number Z is 20% more than X. How many percent more than Y is Z? So to answer this question, let us illustrate y equals to 1. If y equals to 1, what will be the value of x? So x is 15% more than y. So this is 1 plus 1 times 15%, that is 0 0.15. So this is 1.15. So this will be the value of x. What about the value of Z? So the value of Z is 20% more than X. If X is 1.15, that is 20% more than X, that is 1.15 times 0 0.20. So this is 1.38. So therefore, Z is 38% more than y. So this will be our answer. On number 2, the sum 3 raised to x and its reciprocal is a. What is the sum of 9 raised to x and its reciprocal in terms of a? So let us have 3 raised to x and the reciprocal that is 1 over 3 raised to x equals a. At the same time, we have 9 raised to x plus its reciprocal, that is 1, over 9 raised to x. If you are going to write this one, that is 3 raised to 2x plus 1 over 3 raised to 2x. So this expression is written in the form of a square plus b square. And we all know that a square plus b square, that is the quantity of a plus b square minus 2ab. So the value of a, that is 3 raised to x, and the value of b, that is 1 over 3 raised to x. If you are going to square 3 raised to x, you are going to have 3 raised to 2x. And if you are going to square 1 over 3 raised to x, that is 1 over 3 raised to 2x. So let us simplify. Let us have a plus b square minus 2ab. So the value of a, that is 3 raised to x plus b, that is 1 over 3 raised to x and then square minus 2 the value of a is 3 raised to x b that is 1 over 3 raised to x so the value of 3 raised to x plus 1 over 3 raised to x that is a so this is a square then let us cancel this one negative 2 times 1 that is negative 2 so this will be our answer on number 3, a car and a bus approach the same intersection from the road which are perpendicular. If a car average speed is 60 km per hour and bus 80 km per hour, what is the distance between a car and a bus after 12 minutes after they cross in the intersection? So in order for you to understand this problem, let me illustrate the given. So let us have... So let us have here, so this is the car and this is the bus. So this will be the distance traveled by the car after 12 minutes. And this will be the distance 
traveled by the bus after 12 minutes. So what are we going to do here is we are looking for the distance after they cross in the intersection. Since the speed of a car is 60 kilometers and the speed of bus 80 kilometers, let us convert first 12 minutes into hours. So 12 minutes is equivalent to 1 over 5 hours. So therefore, let us have a Pythagorean theorem that is c squared equals 1.5 hours times the speed of a car square plus 1.5 times the speed of the bus square. So let us have 1 times 60 divided by 5, that is 12 square. And then 80 divided by 5, that is 16 square. So to simplify, let us have 144 plus 256. And then let us add. So we are 144 plus 256, that is 400. So square both side. So this is 20 kilometers. So therefore, the distance between the car and the bus after 12 minutes after they cross the intersection is 20 kilometers. So this will be our answer. On number four, a function f is defined on the set of positive integers as follows. f of 1 equals 1, and for all integers n greater than or equal to 2, f of x equals f of n minus 1 minus 2. We are looking for f of 5. So let us write the given. So let us have f of 1, that is 1, and then we have f of x equals f of n minus 1 minus 2. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are looking for f of 2. So we have this one, f of 2 minus 1 minus 2. So this is f of 1 minus 2. f of 1, that is 1, minus 2. So f of 2 is negative 1. And then, f of 3. So this is f of n minus 1 minus 2. So we have f of 3 minus 1 minus 2. So this is f of 2 minus 2. So f of 2, that is negative 1 minus 2. So f of 3 is negative 3. And then let us have f of 4 equals f of n minus 1 minus 2. So we have f of 4 minus 1 minus 2. So f of 4 minus 1, that is 3, minus 2. And f of 3, that is negative 3, minus 2. So therefore, f of 4 is negative 5. Now, let us find f of 5. So f of 5 is f of n minus 1 minus 2. So we have f of 5 minus 1 minus 2. So this is f of 4 minus 2. So f of 4 is negative 5 minus 2. So f of 5, that is negative 7. And this will be our answer. On number 5, in the figure, angles and side have measured as indicated but are not drawn to scale. Arrange A, B, C, D, and E in increasing order. So the first thing that we're going to do is to separate the two triangles. So let us have the first triangle. That is 50 and 92. So this is side A, side B, and side E. And then on the other one, we have the other triangle. This is 53, 52. This is side D, side C, and this is side E. And we all know that the interior angle of a triangle is 180 degrees. If this one is 50, this is 92. To make 180, this one is 38 degrees. And then on the other side, if this is 53 and this is 52, so to make 180 degrees, this one is 75 degrees. So this is 38 
and 75. So let us have side A that is 38, side B that is 50, side C that is 53, side D that is 75, side E that is 52 or 92. So if we are going to arrange this one in increasing order, side A comes first because of 38, followed by B because of 50, followed by E because of 52, and then followed by C and followed by D. So this will be the arrangement. This will be our answer. A, B, E, C, and D. On number 6, the fare of an aircon bus in Metro Manila is computed as follows. 11 pesos for the first 5 kilometers, then 1.85 pesos for each succeeding kilometer or a fraction thereof. Compute the bus fare for a distance of 10.5 kilometers. So let us illustrate first the given. So we have 11 pesos for the first 5 kilometers and 1.85 for succeeding kilometer or a fraction thereof. So this word is very important because it will lead us to the answer. So what are we going to do? The total distance is 10.5. It can be separate as 5 kilometers plus 5 kilometers plus 1.5 kilometers so the fare for first five kilometers is 11 pesos and then we have five times 1.85 for every succeeding kilometer and one half times 1.85 so let us write this one as 11 pesos plus five pesos times 1.85 so we are going to round this one because of this statement a fraction thereof so this is 1 times 1.85 so this will be 11 pesos plus 6 times 1.85 so therefore let us have 11 pesos plus 6 times 1.85, that is 11.10 pesos. So let me write here, 11 pesos plus 11.10. So our answer is 22.10 pesos for the first 10.5 kilometers. And that will be our answer. So I hope you will learn from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.